Hello, Riverbank. This is going to be a quick one, but uh, this is Mr. Ginelli with your technology tip of the week. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Google Forms. So in order to create a form, you go to Google Drive and uh, click on the Create tab and choose Form. Now the forms are uh, basically a way for you to give quizzes um, or surveys or polls or, or having quick questions you want them to answer. And it's pretty easy to uh, to create the form. Um, you have the option right here to name the form. And then you have a question title. So let's say that you want to ask the students, you know, um, which of the following was the first president? And then they have you have a bunch of different types of questions. You can choose text, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, choose from a list, etc. So if you're doing a multiple choice, you could have George Washington and then Abraham Lincoln, and you can keep adding as many as you want. And then uh, when the students go, and you just click done when you're done. When the students go to um, view it, this is what they're going to see, and they can just click on one of those. You can also do, uh, you know, like, not just multiple choice, but like text. So they have to actually type stuff in. So please describe the whatever. And then they actually are going to have to type in their responses. And you click done. You can add, um, <clears throat> like, a drop down one where it'll, it'll, you know, choose more than one thing or choose from a list. We'll do like a drop down. So there's lots of ways you can do this and just, you know, tons of ways you could use this in the classroom as a, as a quiz, formative assessments, you know, just a really easy quick check for understanding. So uh, once you're done, you're going to send this form to your students. And the easiest way to do that, first off, click, make sure you check on automatically collect respondents Riverbank Unified School District username. And that's going to make sure that as soon as they um, respond to this, it automatically tells you which student it was. Uh, if you don't have that checked, you're not going to know who sent this to you. So make sure you have that checked. Then you click on here, send form, and it's going to give you a link. And you just need to somehow have some way of uh, sharing this link with your students. So if you have a district website, if you use Google Classroom, which is what I do use, um, you know, some way that the students are going to be able to click on this link because you're not going to want to have them type it out because they're not going to be able to type all this. So you copy it, you paste it to uh, some link that you can share, and try that again. And then the students are going to see this. They fill it out and just type in some random stuff here. And they click submit. And now what happens is if you, uh, I called this one form name. If you go in, back into Google Drive, I've got a bunch of stuff here, but hopefully you don't have as much as me. I got my form name, that's the form right there. And here are the responses, form name responses. And so there it is. It tells me who it was that responded and then what the question was at the top and the answers down below. And if you have a lot of different responses, um, like for example, if I was doing uh, something with uh, the Chromebook training, then what you're going to get is it's going to give you them all in, in, in a list right there. So um, you'll just see them all like that. And if it's a quiz, it's pretty easy to grade. You know, if it's if the answer is A, and you know, you can just I, I actually usually just replace this with the score so if the question was multiple choice and the answer was a and they got it correct I'll just put a five on here and then if they got it wrong I'll put a zero or whatever it is however many points you want to make it if you're grading it um, so I just go through really quickly and just yep they got it right or they got it wrong and then uh, just like on any Excel spreadsheet you can just do a sum function to uh, to add up the totals at the end if you don't know how to do that I can I'd be happy to share that with you so all right, that's it. That's uh, Google Forms, and hopefully you found something there useful. Thanks. Have a good day.